Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a flashing color text effect. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to go to the spacebar, and you're going to see that I've got them flashing. And then I've got a second version that flashes a little differently. The first one flashes, but they blend into each other. As you can see, the colors become the next colors. And then in the second version, I've got a flash. It goes red, then it goes blue then it goes green, then it goes yellow, but they don't blend into each other. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those, and I'll do it in about yeah, two minutes at the most. Let's get started. Let's start from scratch, from ground zero, so you can see how it works. First step here, you've opened it up. You've opened up Premiere Pro. You want to go to your new item under Project, and you want to create something called Black Video. Left-click on that, and just create any old size black video for the tutorial. Now, we've got some black video in the Project panel. I'm going to drag and drop that into the timeline. And for me, it looks like I've got about one second of video. Let's see here. Yeah, about a second, and I want a bit more than that. So I'm going to make this a little longer. So I'm going to make this four seconds. And if you see there at the bottom, it says duration 000400. That basically means four seconds. So we're working with four seconds of video. Okay, the next step is we're going to create some text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. Is I'm going to go to the type tool in the toolbar here. And before I do that, I'm actually just going to make the program monitor a little bigger. I'm going to click on the type tool, and then I'm going to type in flash. And let's go to fit. There we go. And now I've got some big, heavy, bold text. I'm going to center it a little bit just for, um, yeah, just to make it nice and even. And then I'm going to increase the length of the text to the entire duration. So we've got four seconds worth of text. Okay. Now we're going to go do the effect, and I've already left the tint up there, but the way to do it is you want to go to your effects panel, type in tint, and then under video effects, color correction, tint, you will have the option to drag and drop that tint onto the text layer, not onto the video layer, but onto the text layer. When you do that, you want to go back to your effect controls, and you will see tint show up under effect controls. What we're doing in this one is you see that we're working with white text to start. So what you want to do is you want to click the toggle animation here beside map white to. I'm going to click that and now we are animating the tint. So at the zero seconds, I want it to be white. And then at let's say four frames, let's go four frames in. Okay, I went one too many. So if, you're, if you go too far, you can left click on step back one frame. At four frames in, we're going to change it to white, and then we're going to change it to red. And these are just arbitrary colors that I'm just going with to show you the technique. I'm going to move forward four more frames till I'm on the eighth frame, and then I'm going to map the from red. We're going to go to we're going to go to some sort of teal. No, we're going to go with some magenta-looking color just for giggles, right? Okay, good. So now we've got it mapped to magenta, or I guess that's yeah, it's magenta. Let's go forward four more frames to 12, and then we're going to map it to something different. So we're going to go to, I don't know, let's go to, you guys want to go to blue? Let's go to blue. All right, cool. And you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm just basically moving forward four frames. You can move up any amount that you want. I'm going to, let's select a teal color now. And whatever colors you want to flash, I'm going to go to the 22nd mark, and we're going to change the color again. We're going to go from teal to some sort of, let's go with a, uh, with a nice bright yellow. Okay, cool. And then for the last little bit, we're going to go to 24 seconds and we're going to make one more change. And this one will be some kind of orange. Okay, we're going to go with a bright orange. And presto. You see what the technique was that I was doing? Now, when we go back, it's flashing. And all you need to do is either keep doing that all the way through if you have a special set of colors that you want to run, or I am just going to cut that I'm going to delete that in, and if we just want this to repeat, I'm just going to hit Alt or Option. I'm going to push up, and then I'm just creating duplicates of it. So I'm just hitting Alt or Option, pushing up, and then I'm just sliding it in front. Let's see if I can get this one in the right place. Here we go. And then here we go. I hit Spacebar, Flashing Color Effect. Now, I will show you one last thing. I'll show you on this last piece here. If you don't want the colors to bleed into each other, as you see they're going here, it's going from magenta to purple dark purple to blue to blue, different color blue, so they're all sort of like blending in. What you need to do is you need to take these keyframes, which are under tint, so you go to tint, 
you map white to, and then on this side of things, you're going to see all of these little keyframes. What you need to do, select one of the keyframes, right click on it, or select all of the keyframes in this situation, and change them to hold. Here's what happens. When you do that, this will be the last thing I'll show you here, is the colors, they hold until the next keyframe is called. So instead of blending into each other, like these ones are blending, these ones are just holding so they're just the color that we selected and then as soon as the three or four keyframes are up it goes to the next color that's it guys thanks for watching ton more stuff coming up stay tuned